went live on Facebook and you were, and I did see a few of them, I think. Um, but you're talking about comfort zones. I'm going to tell you what I've noticed about you since I've been following you and, and, and the content that you put out. So you put out content just like I do. That's what we're doing right now. Right. Content is king, getting it out there. And you have to be willing to put something out there in the public's eye and let it be judged. So what we're doing right now is live. We're talking, you know, we I've introduced you as an expert. I've introduced myself as an expert. I'm an author. And then we are giving advice. I am qualified to give sales advice. You are too. That's what we say. Now, we're putting it out there and it can be judged. If we don't know what we're talking about, or if we say something that's inaccurate or wrong, it's going to be judged and it's going to be judged harshly. And sometimes we get it wrong. So we have to make adjustments. And that's why this video that I'm doing is much, even though it's spur of the moment, I'm using my iPhone and I'm in Jamaica, I'm in a foreign country. I am much more comfortable in this video than I was in my first video. So what I've noticed about you, Scott, is you'll put content out there. And here's a, here. Okay, guys, if you're paying attention, go to Scott's page and look at the content he puts out there because here's what he does extremely well. He puts engaging content or I should rather say Scott puts content out there that will create engagement. And sometimes, and I suspect this is on purpose, he'll put, he'll put something out there that may be a little bit inaccurate or put something out there that at least somebody will, will challenge or that somebody will start talking about. Because once you create that engagement, once you create, create that, Facebook especially is going to pick up on that interaction and you're going to get farther up in the algorithm. So give us some, give us some ideas on, on what I said about the, the content and just putting it out there and putting engaging content out there. Well, you, you said it. I mean, you know, content is king and engagement is queen. I mean, they go, they go hand in hand and you want to have good content because the good content is going to create the engagement. And, and, and really, I don't know where I got this idea. It, it wasn't my idea, but you, you can follow me. You see what I do. I, I ask a lot of questions and some of the questions I'll put out there, you know, agree or disagree. Some of them I agree with, some of them I disagree with. And in a lot of the posts I get, there's, there's a conglomeration of a bunch of people that agree. There's a bunch of people that disagree. So I, and, and usually I'll, 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 I'll speak up and I'll say, this is why, or this is what I agree with, or this is what I disagree with. And, and a lot of times if I get a real, if I get a lot of, of engagement, like if there's over a hundred or maybe sometimes 200 comments, I'll actually do a, a live Facebook video and explain my stance on why I agree or I disagree. But yeah, I mean, Hey, everybody I feel should want to, you know, get better. And one of the ways to get better is to engage in thought and think about things on, Hey, you know, do I really agree with what he's saying or do I really disagree with what he's saying? And, and why do I agree or disagree? 